Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Nichols. I'm part of the Department of Neurology, Division of Pediatric Epilepsy at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today, I'd like to talk to you about intractable epilepsy in children. Epilepsy is a tendency towards having recurrent seizures. Most often, this diagnosis is given to a child after he or she has experienced two or more unprovoked seizures. Fortunately, the majority of time, children respond very nicely to medications and can have their seizures controlled. However, approximately 10 to 30 percent of the time, children do not respond completely to medications and continue to have seizures. If a child continues to have seizures on a first medication, a second or a third may still be successful. However, if your child is still having seizures after a trial of two to three different medications at good therapeutic doses, it is very possible that your child has something called intractable epilepsy. Intractable epilepsy is more refractory epilepsy that doesn't respond well to medications. Most often, it's not that the right medication hasn't been found, but rather your child's epilepsy simply will not respond properly to medications. If your child is still having seizures and has been given a trial of two to three different medicines, I would recommend that your child see a specific pediatric epilepsy doctor. This is because there are multiple other treatments that are available to your child in addition to medicines. The first treatment that can be considered is surgery. If your child's seizures are coming from a single small area of the brain, then your child may be a candidate for surgery. This is only done at epilepsy institutions and can be very beneficial and safe for your child. Most often, children who are candidates for surgery are able to be seizure-free much more likely if this is pursued rather than just continuing medications, and so this really is the best option. For children in whom surgery is not a possibility, there are dietary changes that can also be undertaken. The ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet that is an established treatment for children with intractable epilepsy. This diet, again, can be done very safely and effectively in children with intractable epilepsy. Finally, there can be additional medication options as well as other procedures that can be done to help your child's epilepsy. One of the devices that's used most often is a device called the vagus nerve stimulator. This is an FDA-approved device that is used for children and adults with intractable epilepsy. All of these can be discussed with your epilepsy doctor, and your child may receive significant benefit. Approximately half of the children that we see at Mayo Clinic in Rochester who have intractable epilepsy are able to become seizure-free or have their seizures dramatically reduced when we pursue these options. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much.